Hey guys, in this video, we have some no interview, no resume work from home jobs that you can do anytime you want. I'm gonna show you eight different companies where you can do these. So the first company is called Get Blend. Blend is a place where you can get a few different types of freelance jobs. The main one we're focusing on right now is a voice artist. This gives you a lot of different options. A voice artist basically uses your voice to do all sorts of things like narration of books, maybe re reading a script that they're going to use as a voiceover in say a commercial or an advertisement on say YouTube or something like that. It can be used for a lot of different things. You can also go here to become a translator as well. But if you go to getblend.com, you'd go to freelancers at the top right and then you have the options to be either a translator or a voice artist. A voice artist gives you a lot more options. You can do this in many different languages. They have over 120 different languages that you can do this in. And they show you some of the numbers here of like how many words have been translated, words recorded, blenders are fluent in more than four languages, how many different people meet that criteria. Um, they live in countries all around the world. So if you are looking for something that's also worldwide, you can check out Blend as well. You aren't limited to say just the United States. Now as far as, far as all the different types of work that you can do as a voice artist, it includes things like e-learning, which you also have in-game narration and character recording. You have interactive voice response in all contact center and telephony apps, non-paid ad videos, pre-roll paid ad videos, telematics, and in-car GPS, voice recordings for text-to-speech, podcasts, audiobooks, and much more. So you have all those different options if you're thinking about doing voice artist work. As far as what it's like to work at Blend, they have pretty solid ratings. They have a 3.7 out of 5 star rating and 65% would actually recommend working here to a friend. As far as pay, they don't have enough information on their Glassdoor page for specifically voice artist reviews. They do have some for translation, but it's a totally different job. For a typical voice artist, however, in the US, the average would be around $78,000 a year if you were to work full-time hours. If you divide that by 2080, you have about $38 per hour for just an hourly base rate. They also pay you via PayPal at Blend as well as things like ACH transfers and a few other convenient ways to get paid. Another thing you can do is become an affiliate marketer. And one of the main places that's been around the longest for affiliate marketers is ClickBank.com. The only thing about ClickBank.com is I can't really give you just a clear estimate of how much you might make as an affiliate marketer, but if you were to do well at it, it could pay six or even seven figures. But it's one of those things where you might make very little if you are someone who is not working hard enough or not building your business properly. This is more for people who have a lot of self-motivation and want a little more creative freedom. But with QuickBank, you can just go here you can pick all, you would be an affiliate here. So you can pick all sorts of different products that you can basically be an affiliate for. You get paid commissions every time one of these products sells. And then you basically can build your own marketing process. If you want to have your own website, you can. If you want to do this through YouTube, you can. If you want to do paid advertising, you can. It's basically just setting up your process, selling other people's products that you don't even have to create and then getting a commission. Some of them even have recurring commissions as well where you can get paid monthly off of some sort of membership affiliate product. So you can check out quickbank.com if you want to do something that requires a little more of an entrepreneurial spirit but also has a lot higher income potential as well. Many different affiliate marketers use something like GetResponse to actually um, sell the products they're trying to sell instead of just you know posting a link on Twitter or something, which usually doesn't convert very well. You would use something like email marketing. So you would use either a website or a YouTube channel or something like that, collect emails through something like GetResponse, and then kind of market to your email subscriber list through GetResponse and then have links to the products you are an affiliate for. So you build a group of subscribers who are interested in that area, like let's say you're selling health products. You're, you build a subscriber list through your YouTube channel, your website, for people who are interested in getting healthier, and then you sell them affiliate products through ClickBank that you find here. 
So it's a process that requires a little more of a a training, which I, I've gone over in other videos in the past, but it's one of those things where it can pay off immensely if you give it the time and the effort. Next, you have something like laundry. This is one of the easiest jobs you're gonna find. It's at poplin.co, and it's basically a gig economy website where you can get paid to do laundry for people. You get to do it at your own home as well. You do not have to be where in a place where basically you're having to do it somewhere else. The only thing is you may have to do a little bit of driving. They also have a very highly rated app as well. In case you wanted to check out their reviews, they have a 4.8 out of five star rating. And basically you find all your jobs, you collect payments and basically message your clients, do everything through the app. Kind of like you would with say Uber or DoorDash or something along those lines. So it's peer to peer, again, gig economy, which basically means somebody in your local area is hiring you to do a service for them. And you have a third party app that basically helps manage the whole process and make it easier for everyone involved. So you would basically get paid up to $6,000 a month to do laundry for people. Obviously only the top tier people make that much, so I wouldn't expect that much. But we'll go over some pay estimates here in a second. You sign up and you learn. The nice thing is they also teach you the best ways to do, to do the laundry as efficiently as possible. You accept the jobs you want in your local area, so you get to pick your work and choose when you work and then you pick up, wander, return, and repeat. Wash, dry, and fold. So top 10 people are the ones that make around you know, 6,000 a month. Top 100 people make around 2,500 a month, which is still pretty good, especially for something like this that normally you wouldn't depend on for a full-time income. Now, as far as where you have to be located, this is US-based only, so it is available in 500 plus cities across the United States. So you just type in your zip code, check your area, and they'll tell you if it's available. You have a very simple sign up process. You don't have to worry about resumes and interviews and all of that. You basically just need to be 18 years of age or older, eligible to work in the US and have a way to pick up and deliver orders. And you will have to pass, you will have to pass a background check as well. The hours and work area, that's all up to you. As far as the actual materials you're going to need, you need a smartphone, access to a washer and dryer, a mode of transportation for pickup and delivery, and a few household items, including laundry detergent, clear bags, labels, and a simple bathroom scale um, to weigh the finished laundry as well. And then how much you earn, they do have minimum um, amounts that you earn per order. Averages are around $40 per order and minimum per order for customers. So you'll always earn at least $15 plus tips per order. As far as what's like to work here, they have very good ratings and they have a lot of them. So they have 4.5 out of five stars, 91% recommend working here to a friend. Salary wise at this company, also if you look at reviews, they actually have some pretty solid hourly rates that people average. I mentioned most average around $40 per order. Well, typically you can do laundry in an hour or two, you know, depending on the situation, depending on what setup you're using. But if you do that, a Sudster here can basically average around $36 per hour, according to um, people who have done this. And that's based on 311 people who submitted reviews. Another place where you can find no interview, no resume jobs that you can do at home is TaskRabbit. This is actually known as a website and app that you would normally find stuff in your local area. Another gig economy type of app where it's peer to peer, somebody in your local area is hiring you to do a service for them. But TaskRabbit is the third party app that manages it all for you. And you know, the logistics of it, basically, the location, the payment, the messaging, the reviews, the profiles, all of that. So TaskRabbit actually does have some jobs that you can do at home as well. If you go to choose a category, you will find that they have things like, let's say you're, you're really good with computers. Well, some computer help can of course be done at home, but let's say you did something where you could troubleshoot it without having to leave $24 per hour. You also have things like data entry, which could be $23 per hour on average. And then you also have graphic design, clearly something you can do at home, $33 per hour. So pretty solid pay for these types of jobs. TaskRabbit is a place where you don't have to just focus on handyman services 
assembly, lawn care, cleaning, household services. It can also have some online services that you can do as well. And if you check out their app, it's pretty well rated. It's got about a four out of five star rating on average with millions of downloads. As far as what people rate as their experience working here, 3.6 out of five stars, 65% recommend working here to a friend, not too bad. Next you have transcription. Transcription of course involves typing what you hear in some sort of audio or video file. There are a lot of different types of transcription. Some of them actually pay you a lot more than others. For instance, if you're doing basic transcription for like a podcast or like a video, um, a lot of times it's not gonna pay a whole lot. If you were to do something like medical or police work, or legal transcription, a lot of times those pay a lot more than the industry standard. So if you can, you might wanna go for some of those. But sometimes they require you to take extra tests to qualify for those types of transcription jobs. But Transcription Hub is one that's been around for a little while and actually offers transcription work that you can do freelance wise. Now here, you have to take a test to prove your skills. You don't necessarily have to have a, a resume or an interview but you do have to take a skills test. Typically a skills test is good. It's mainly going to require you to have good word per minute typing skills, good grammar, as well as good accuracy. So you can't type super fast and have terrible accuracy and have a bunch of mistakes. Obviously that does no good. So if you are, you know, I would say around 50 word per minute typing speed with high 90s in accuracy, and you have decent grammar, you can also download plugins like Grammarly to help you with that. That is pretty much all you usually need for something like a transcription job. So if you're looking at trying to improve your word permit typing speed or you need to test it to see where you stand, you can do this for free at typingtest.com. They also have typing lessons as well to help you improve if you need to. So when you take the test here, you get evaluated and they will basically place you in a tier. They usually have just the bronze, silver, and gold tier for transcription jobs here at Transcription Hub. So you work flexibly, the, you know, the pay rate and the types of jobs you are offered are dependent upon which tier you are in. And then I believe you can actually upgrade your tier later on, even though you start out in one of these tiers. So if you start in bronze, I think you can actually get worked up to silver or gold later as you progress. But you have flexible work, you can enjoy the freedom to work anytime and anywhere, and you get paid, of course, based on the amount of work you complete. And they also have pretty major brands that you know they've worked with like Walmart, Wikimedia, and you know Harvard University and things like that. Now, Transcription Hub does have a review on Indeed. They don't seem to have a lot on Glassdoor yet, but they do have a four out of five star rating on Indeed. And typically a transcriptionist makes around 51,000 a year if you were to work 40 hour work weeks. The thing is, you're probably not going to do that. So if you divide that by 2080, you're looking more at around $25 an hour or so. Next, you have microtasking. Microtasking is one of the kind of one size fits all work from home jobs that almost anybody can do. The thing about microtasking is it typically involves just completing what you would call a microtask. Um, a microtask is just a small job that you typically do online. In this case, in Quick Worker's case, you can do this on your phone or on your computer or tablet. And these usually are geared towards helping a larger project. So for instance, there's no point in them hiring a part-time or full-time worker to do some of these types of jobs because they just need it done once. So that's kind of the type of work you're gonna find here. You're gonna find a lot of jobs where you, you categorize things, you give feedback on something, you research something, that kind of stuff. And it's just a one-off job. So you're constantly doing a bunch of one-off jobs when you're here, instead of doing the same thing like a typical full-time job, you're doing essentially the same few tasks on a daily and weekly basis. But with this, you're doing a little something different every time for the most part, and even for different clients. So they just are kind of like a marketplace where you find a, a bunch of listings of these types of jobs and you get paid. They're fairly well rated at 4.4 out of five stars, obviously very good there on Trustpilot. They have very convenient payment methods, which I think is very important with these types of side hustle sites. PayPal, Payoneer, you have ACH transfers, weekly payments as well, which is also nice. And then you have lots of different types of jobs and you can do these on many different devices. That's another thing I like about this site is the 
idea of being able to do them on a mobile phone, a tablet, or a PC. Also, very highly rated apps. If you do want to use the mobile version, they have 3.9 out of 5 stars with a million plus downloads. So as you can see, very well rated all the way across the board, whether it's Trustpilot or their app reviews. And then the types of jobs you find here, they give you a few examples of surveys, text creation, research, mystery visits, app testing, capturing photos, recording audio, and stuff like that. So lots of different micro tasks. They claim to have over a million different ones and they have all sorts of just odd jobs you can do for a few minutes at a time. Now, as far as what it's like to get paid here, you can look at reviews and look at what typical contractors make here. We have seen some very high averages. Now we see two people saying $52 an hour. Obviously that seems kind of high and it is a fairly wide range of 39 to 73. So you also have some others as well. Like one quick worker said they averaged 22. You see another freelancer that said 39. So you're seeing a lot of just all across the board. The lowest when it comes to quick workers and stuff like that, it seems is about 22 an hour for the most part for things that have to do with being a freelance quick worker. And then the highest you see average around $52 an hour. So it's a wide range. It's hard for me to tell you how much you're gonna make yourself because it depends on what you do. And you also have to keep in mind that a lot of these are not hourly jobs. They're jobs that you, you get paid by the task. The faster you complete the task, a lot of times the more you get paid. But there's just, there's different ways of going about it. There's different types of tasks that'll pay more or less than others. Next you have rev.com. Rev.com is, as far as what's like to work at Quick Worker, 3.4 out of five stars, 71% recommend working here to a friend. So almost three quarters of people actually recommend working here to a friend. It's pretty good. Next you have a company called rev.com. This is a great place to find what we call captioning and subtitle jobs. If you go to the bottom here and go to become a freelancer, you'll notice they have three main jobs that they hire here for freelancers specifically. Transcription, we've already been over what you do as a transcriptionist, so I'm not really gonna to touch on that one too much, but it does pay 30 cents to $1.10 per audio or video minute. Um, that's completed work, that's not per hour of work. Uh, captioning is a little different. You're gonna basically watch videos, accurately type what is being said, creatively convey sounds, and sync the typed audio with the video. So for instance, they see you see a little snippet of an example here. Or you think of like watching Netflix or something like that. When you see the words pop up on the screen, that's essentially your job to make those words pop up when they're supposed to pop up. So a 54 cents to $1.10 per audio or video minute. You also have another option which is subtitling. It pays by far the most, $1.50 to $3 per audio or video minute. It's kind of like captioning except you're also translating the subtitles into another language. So you might have like a Spanish video with English subtitles, just as a random example. Now, some things that come with all of the jobs here for freelancers. One, create a flexible work schedule. You can work as little or as much as you want. You can also pick the times. Choose from hundreds of jobs. You get to also pick the jobs as well. And you also get weekly payouts via PayPal. So very convenient payment methods. Another nice thing about them is you can apply from many different countries around the world, as you can see in this search box here. As far as how well they are rated, Rev does have a 3.6 out of five star rating, 61% recommend working here to a friend. As far as how much people average in terms of salary, this is another one where it can vary quite a bit because they have three different freelance jobs. Some pay a lot more than others. As you saw, the subtitle job pays way more than say the transcriptionist job. But the transcriptionist job, you see around 22 an hour, you see 21, 22, they're all very similar. Captioning jobs pay very closely to what transcriptionist jobs. You're, if you were to do captioning, something like that, you're looking at probably you know the low 20s in terms of your hourly rate. But if you look at freelancer jobs just in general, you see 22 reviews averaging $38 an hour. So I believe this is because they factor in subtitle work as well, which pays multiple times more per audio or video minute than the other jobs. So, you know, if you're making like three times as much from a subtitling job versus a captioning or translation job, on average, you're gonna make quite a bit more per hour. Now, 
yeah, obviously you're going to have to have other skills. You're going to have to probably be multilingual and a lot of people are not multilingual. But if you are and you do something like that, I believe that can bump up your hourly pay to closer to that $38 per hour mark. And then last but not least, we have a company where you can find translation work. Another place where if you're multilingual, you can be compensated fairly well and you can get jobs without a resume or a typical interview. So Gango.com is the website. It's actually owned and operated by Lionbridge. Lionbridge, if you're not aware, is a company that is known for localization, translation, and AI service comp services and stuff like that. They are a company that's been around a long time. So it's a reputable company that owns Gango. And Gango is a great place to find freelance translation jobs where you have lots of freedom here. So you have a flexible schedule. You can work whenever and wherever you want. You get to pick your, pick your own projects as well. You have a supportive community and you have the latest technology to help you. Basically, you can use PC, tablet, or smartphone for this type of work. They also give you some estimates here of how much you could earn. This is going to vary depending on the language. The language, I would say the one with the most like worldwide um, speakers, I, th I think those are the ones that typically have a higher average, it seems like, just looking at them. Um, like you see Chinese is fairly high, English decently high, you know, you see British English even higher than that. French is usually pretty high as well. I think the, mo the more common languages typically have higher pay. But as far as how you apply here, you sign up and get approved, they have a two-part test that you take. It's very common for no interview, no resume jobs to have a test of some sort. So just get used to that if you're looking for a no interview job. Then you start translating, you get paid, and then they also have pro qualification tests you can take to actually improve how much you get paid and to get more challenging projects. So this is a great place if you're multilingual to find work and have kind of a minimal application process compared to what a typical job would require of you. As far as what it's like to work at Gango, 4.2 out of 5 stars, 74% recommend working here to a friend. And if you want to look at what people say you could average in terms of pay here, if you look at the hourly rate, translators averaging around $26 an hour. Typically, you know, the top few reviews are most accurate, I would say, or at least the ones that have the most feedback. So between these, you have about nine reviews and they're all in that $26 per hour ballpark. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these. If you thought this was a helpful video, please click the like button. It really helps me know what you enjoy the most on this channel. And don't forget to leave a comment if you wanna ask me a question or suggest something that I cover in future videos. And I'll see you in the next one.